In this tutorial, I will demonstrate part one of improved processing and automation in which ArcGIS Pro can do. The previous video has showcased 3D visualization in Pro. Currently, we are on the third module. Now, some of you may say, OK, Anastasius, can you tell me how is Pro different from ArcMap in terms of geoprocessing capabilities? Well, here is a simple chart that provides the fundamental differences between the two. ArcMap uses Python 2.x, whereas Pro uses Python 3.x. Now there is a difference between the two versions. In Python 3, it is generally faster, some of the syntax is different, and you can perform for loop list comprehensions, which is a short and more efficient way of writing for loops and storing results as a list in one line of code. You will see that later in the demo what will look like. ArcMap does not do parallel processing, meaning running more than one geoprocessing tool at a time because it is 32-bit, whereas ArcGIS Pro does. Another key difference in the Python version is ArcMap cannot do ArcPy and the ArcGIS API for Python at once because the ArcGIS API for Python is developed in Python 3. This in turn limits ArcMap with native support for web layers that are hosted in ArcGIS Online or Portal. You will see how I combine ArcPy and the ArcGIS API for Python to automate a workflow later on in this demo vid. In addition, there are no more tools being developed in ArcMap, whereas ArcGIS Pro is constantly adding new tools. Some of the latest ones are imagery segmentation and classification tools, which you will see a demo in video 6, geoenrichment tools, LAS data set points for LiDAR data, and Geoanalytics Desktop, which harnesses all of your desktop CPU cores for certain geoprocesses. Lastly, our ArcGIS bridge is available for both. However, it is a lot easier in Pro, as it is a one-click installation, assuming you already have R installed on your machine. With these characteristics said, let's do a few demonstrations. If you have developed your Python scripts in version 2, ArcGIS Pro has this tool that can automatically check your Python script and it will flag your code that is either the wrong version or is deprecated. Here's how it works. If you go to Tools and type in Analyze Tools for ArcGIS Pro or for Pro, and insert your Python script, which I have a, a tested version of it. And then just run the tool, and that's it. The output will tell you uh, what is incorrect and how to correct it. So for instance, the print statement in 2 should tell you what it will look like in 3, which is in parentheses. And the same thing with raw input should be input. Now the good news is, if you are scripting an ArcPy through ArcMap but are running it in ArcGIS Pro's Python environment, most of the tools will be recognized. For more information on migrating Python from ArcMap to ArcGIS Pro, you can view the list of changes here on this page. You can also find a handful of submodules that have either been removed or changed. Now the next part of this demo is scripting in ArcGIS Pro's Python environment. Personally, I always find it best to clone your own Python environment, especially if you plan on automating long workflows, processing lots of data files, and doing multiple projects. The current ArcGIS Pro's Python environment, or known as the base, is usually settled in a folder where you cannot do write permissions, such as adding third-party packages. One way to clone your environment is if you go to the Project tab, select Python, go to Manage Environments, and currently I'm using my own Python environment and called the Palm Detection. But to clone the original ArcGIS Pro environment, you would select ArcGIS Pro Py 3 and then click Clone, and then you restart Pro. But I, prefer, I personally prefer the second approach, which if you go to Windows, click ArcGIS, and scroll all the way down to where it says Python 3 Command Prompt, Now here is the command prompt. You will notice 
that I have POM detection here in parentheses. This shows that I have my current ArcGIS Pro's Python 3 environment um, enabled. For most of you guys, it will be the default, which is ArcGIS Pro's Python 3. If you want to deactivate your current environment, all you have to do is type in deactivate and then the name of your current environment, which in my case is POM detection. Notice now the parentheses are gone. The next step is you would want to clone your environment, which you type in conda create n and then type in the name of your environment that you like. In my case, I can call it my new env. Clone and then select the, the ArcGIS Pro Python environment that you have. Uh, for most of us, it will be ArcGIS Pro Py3. And then you just hit enter and let it run, which would take a little bit of time. But I won't do this as I have already done this before. So instead, what I'll do is activate my own clone environment, which I called it POM detection. And that's it. That's how you clone an environment and activate it. Next, we are ready to do some geoprocessing in Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents that contain code, visualizations, and narrative text. It is common to see it when performing data cleaning and transformation, simulations and statistical modeling, data visualization, and machine and deep learning. For more information on Jupyter Notebook, you can view it on this page here. Now let's go back to the command prompt and proceed processing. If you have a project folder, copy the, the directory of it and then type in the terminal cd, which stands for change directory, and then paste it in here. Next, what you want to do is type in Jupyter Notebook. This will then execute it into your server or your machine and open a new tab on your browser. And here you can see I have a list of files and the one I will select is a notebook that, that automatically geoprocesses the steps I need to make the appropriate data structure for 3D interpolation time lapse of the air quality index, which was shown in the previous video. The tools I use from ArcGIS Pro are as follows. Create feature data set, convert CSV files to point data, interpolate hourly point data using the inverse distance weight, convert the inverse distance weight layer to contour feature class, convert those contours to shape file, and then add a new field, which, we, which is the formatting of the time field, calculate that field, and then merge all the contours into one feature class, and then finally clip it into the appropriate boundary. So what I will do now is go to cell and run all of it. And these are all written in functions. As we wait for it to complete, creating this automated workflow process was completed based on trial and error and working with one point data before translating it into functions and for loops. It can be time consuming, but it is worth it when you're doing a workflow that would be too tedious to do manually. Now on my machine, it just took over 18 minutes, which is not too bad. We can certainly speed it up by incorporating multi-processing capabilities. You will see that in the next tutorial video on how to do that. Notice that with the ArcGIS API for Python, I published the final output directly to my portal, and you can view it here in my notebook. ArcGIS API for Python is very powerful, and you can use it all sorts, from administering and publishing content to geoanalytics to deep learning. Now, if you are uncomfortable programming in Python, not to worry, you can export your manual workflow by going to the history tool. And then what you'll have to do is select the already processed tools and then export it, save it to, as a Python script. You can then modify the script in your notebook. Another way is to drag the selected tools and drop a model builder. These are some of the characteristics that makes ArcGIS Pro shine. That concludes for this demo. The next video extends by discussing data chunks and parallel processing in Python and the use of Geo Analytics Desktop. Lastly, check out Esri Canada's Higher Education Resource Finder. There you will find additional content including ArcGIS Pro.